Hello Cancer and Cancer Rising and for those of you who have Moon in Cancer, this is your Angel Oracle card reading for February 2014. I am using the Angel Tarot cards by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. But in honor of Valentine's Day, I will attach to this video a special love scope, okay? I won't be doing that every month, but because it's Valentine's Day, I thought I would do a little something extra and I've got a card that wants to slide right out so I'm going to put that one right there. Let's see what else comes up for you. Oops. Ooh, we had an extra one want to come out. That seems to happen with you guys. Lots of jumping cards, lots of um, odd things happening during your card reading. <laughs> First card up, guys, is the lovers. It's Archangel Raphael, who's in charge of not only good health, but of healing the heart and um, helping you get in touch with your soulmate. Okay, so that's kind of awesome. So it says, intimate relationships, carefully weigh your decisions, good health. Um, let me just tune in what this is for you guys. This is getting in touch with your soulmate this month. Okay, now for those of you who have more complicated situations, you made your choices in your life, you're not with your soulmate, this is not the green light for you to go out cheating. All right, people, that's the fastest way to screw up your love life <laughs> and to bad, build up bad karma and like, no, don't, stop it. Just stop it. Don't do that. What you want to do, though, is recognize your soulmate when they are around you, okay? And in this stage, they might be a friend or you might discover like, you know, you're single and your soulmate comes walking through that door. But this is an awakening of sorts. This is, um, Raphael is saying, you could look to the person next to you who's been your best friend your whole life and go, it's you. Oh, it is you. You know, I, I knew that we were connected, you know, and, and having these great realizations. And the card, let me read that again, says, intimate relationships carefully weigh your decisions. I wanted to go back over that. They were calling me back to the, to that. That is making good choices, people, okay? People love to use that, oh, they're my soulmate excuse to go then and make mistakes. Don't do that. Don't make excuses. Don't do it. You're building karma. You're going to get stuck in <laughs> a bad relationship. Like, just don't do it. Don't inject uh, something beautiful with something ugly, like betrayal, okay? So lover's card. Good sign for those of you who are single and for those of you who are attached, um, falling in love all over again with that person that you're with, okay? Next card up we have is <laughs> Three of Water. It says a celebration, a wedding, graduation, or birth announcement, the need to have more fun. Your emotions are just flowing this month. And it, it is like you start, again, making these big realizations and finding out that everything that you ever wanted has always been right in front of you, okay? And so there is a celebration with that. There is sort of a, you know, the, 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 there'll be lots of events where people are coming together and it can be something as outward as that or it can be inward, okay? This this inward celebration because you're finally, maybe you did find your soulmate or, um, you know, you're finding the path to success or you had a spiritual revelation or something like that. It's a good month for feeling emotionally fulfilled, okay? Next card up is the Page of Air. Good. We needed to balance this out a little bit, I think. And it says, logical, honest, impulsive, curious. Now watch that word impulsive. We have, I don't know if I said it already in this video, we have Mercury retrograde in February. So be very careful with that. That's about going, stepping back and reviewing a little bit so you know how to shove forward when the energy is direct, okay? It says, challenging information, delays or change to plans. There's Mercury retrograde. Truth delivered without tact. Now you can get some jerk that's coming in here and being like, Bleh. I don't like how you do meh, 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 or being jealous of you because, you know, you found somebody to love and maybe they don't. Just steal yourself for this kind of energy this month. Um, haters going to hate, so just let them do their thing and have compassion and love and, and you just let them do that and you go off and enjoy the beautiful things that are coming to you because you deserve them. You absolutely deserve them. So... Next card up is Ten of Fire, and it says, Too much work. Accept help from others. Life is out of balance. Stress-related health concerns. This is you getting behind on your work, honeys. 
Because you got, what are you doing? You're thinking all day about your, your new sweetheart or, you know, the, that little hottie you have at home and um, how nice everything is right now. <laughs> and the work piles up and then you got to play catch up and all that stuff. So they're, they're saying don't get out of balance with this. Don't get crazy. It's okay to enjoy it, but just make sure you're keeping things together. Stay on track with everything. And here's the extra card. We had two of water. It says, a relationship that continues to grow closer. Forgiveness. The positive resolution of a conflict. It's interesting that we were talking, I, I felt compelled to mention about cheating at, at the beginning. Um, and it's interesting that we were doing this reading and then this card sort of flew out as an extra one. I think this is a special message to those of you who are in kind of a complicated love situation. Okay? Um... This is indicating that there is room for forgiveness. There's always room for forgiveness, okay? There's room for moving forward. And as this card would indicate, even growing closer over it. Even if you think that's impossible right now, you, again, you don't need to make any sort of decisions in February, but um, definitely that, that will be on your mind as a possibility, okay? So I hope you enjoyed the reading. Stay tuned. There's more love scope to come. <laughs> See you in a bit. Hello, Cancer. Welcome to the special love scope in honor of Valentine's Day. I am going to start off doing most of the reading with the Romance Angels Oracle Card deck by Doreen Virtue. And then I'm going to move on and pull a few cards from this cute little deck that I got. Um... I'm actually doing these love scopes for Valentine's Day specifically because this was sitting on my shelf. And I don't pull them out often because you'll see why. They're kind of, um, they're very Valentine's Day-esque in my head. So um, that's why I resonate with them. But anyway, let's see what's going on for you in February. I'm just gonna pull three cards, keep it simple. First card up, we have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Oh, I have a Cancer Moon, which is like emotions. So this is good. This is good, and this came up for another sign too. So um, I don't need to say much about it. Congratulations. Okay, that's all that needs to be said. Just keep your energy clear so that your soulmate can find you and so that you can see your soulmate. And don't rush things, okay? Don't jump to conclusions if a soulmate comes in and maybe you're attached to someone else. Um, you know, don't, don't rush a karmic lesson that you might be in the midst of and fear that you'll miss your soulmate, okay? Your soulmate can be a friend, but they're gonna be around and you're gonna be rejuvenated by that energy, okay? Give it, okay, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Okay, so as your soulmate comes in or as you realize that the person next to you is and always has been your soulmate, maybe you just couldn't see it, uh, this might be that month of realization. And this is telling you to give it a shot. Let go of all the old, especially if you're committed, let go of the old hurts, the old pains, you know, practice forgiveness and really look at each other and go, how can we make this better? Okay, now for some of you, it might be looking at each other going, I love you so much, and this isn't working, and I want you to be happy. So we're going to part ways, and you're going to go do what you're going to do, and I'm going to go do what I'm going to do, and maybe this is the thing that brings in the soulmate. Now, conversely, you could look at the person, like I said, that you've been in a committed relationship with and realize that they are, in fact, your soulmate. Or you can have somebody new coming in. So um, for those of you who are single, make sure that you don't close down to the love that's coming in because this might be your soulmate. No, it says... Not might. Yes. This is your soulmate. Yes. I love it. Express your love. And it says, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So when that soulmate comes in, go ahead and let them know exactly how you feel and let them know that you're happy that they're there and be sure to thank God for sending such an amazing gift because, um, truly that's what everybody in this world is always working towards that soul level committed, um, knowing each other, understanding each other on a soul level kind of relationship. All right, so be grateful. Okay, so here we go. Little fun cards. 
I've had some repeat cards coming up, so I just really want to make sure that these are shuffled well. Okay. Love forgives. Oh, okay. So any of you out there who are healing a broken heart, okay, be sure to forgive because when you're forgiving, you are coming from a place of love. And for those of you who are choosing this time to part ways because you love each other, don't, don't go turning away from each other and blaming and, and playing that whole game. Love forgives, okay? And where there's forgiveness, there's love and there's expansion of that love. So keep it flowing. Next card up, nurture love. All right. So as love comes in, nurture yourself, nurture that love, make time for it. And again, be grateful that it's there and, and don't let it go away. <laughs> Hang on with both hands, honey. Okay. And the final card we have is love communicates. Okay. So, you know, communicating with one another is going to be imperative in this soulmate relationship or else you might bypass one another. Okay. So don't be afraid to, like it says in the previous reading, to express your love. Okay. Go ahead and let that person know exactly how you feel. And you'll be really surprised at how they respond to you because especially if it's soulmate, when, when soulmates come together, there's nothing like it. There's nothing like it. And, and it might be you thinking this person would never love you in that way. And then all of a sudden you express your love and you find out that they've been madly in love with you for years. Okay. So don't be afraid. Go out there guys. Love it up. Okay. Have a great month. Bye.